Hey guys, this is Andy. I'm uh, I'm gonna do some videos tonight about uh, rigid threading, how to measure and uh, how to use some tools. This is a uh, this is a basic, you know, basic skill of electrical when you get into the commercial industrial aspect of it. And uh, this is something that uh, electricians need to know. So I'll flip around, show you some of the tools, and show you how some of it's done. So right here on the ground, we have a, a large and small body head hand drive. You can see there's the, the grooves for the ratchet. That's set up for a one inch cutter. And then over here, that's the grooves for the ratchet and that's set up for a one inch cutter. Um, the hand head uh, cutter itself is a uh, is actually set up for two uh, for half inch right now. With this small one, you can thread up to inch and a quarter. With this large one, you can thread up to two inch. Don't recommend you do anything over one inch because it is it is a chore. It's uh, nothing short of a chore. Here, right here, there's what a hand reamer looks like. That's a ratcheting setup. You can get in there and debar your pipe after it's been cut with sawzalls or band saws. And over here we have a rigid 700. This is uh, a powered unit. It's handheld and uh, it is strong. It will take you for a ride if you do not have uh, everything secured properly and you're not ready for it. And with these hand tools and this hand threader, you have the uh, tripod right here. This tripod has this chain. This chain will chain down everything up to five inch, and it says it right here on the on the stand. You stick your pipe in there, and you just keep cranking that up until it cinches down on there. Right here on the tripod, you have some. Uh, hickey benders to tweak your pipe, get a little kick, maybe straighten something up on there. And right here, this part is if you're fortunate to have a low enough ceiling, you can put a piece of three quarter rigid on there and go straight up to the ceiling deck and then tighten that handle that's on the bottom and it will secure this and push this down to the floor. And that helps when you're threading larger pipe, whether you're hand threading or power threading. And I'll show you a little bit of that here in a second. And over here, this is what we take out to our job sites because it's a whole lot easier to use. This is a rigid 300 power threader. And uh, the cutting head, we were using it the other day and we had to swap some swap some teeth out. That's the cutting head right there. That's one of them. That's another. One will do up to three quarter. The other will do up from one inch to two inch. And you do have to swap them when you're threading different sizes. But on the carriage here, You have this hole right here that that cutter goes into. And that cutter lays in this groove right here. So it locks it all together when you're going to thread. And you have a stationary reaming tool. You have a stationary cutting tool. Those will ream and cut up to two inch. That machine will do completely up to two inch. Wish I didn't have this other tool in my way. I can get in here a little easier and show you how it used because we actually did use it the other day and it's it was powered up but it's not now. This right here opens and closes your jaws and that's what locks your pipe and secures it. And then in the rear here, 
you have the same thing. That way it keeps the pipe all stationary while you're threading it. Down there, uh, there it is right there. That is the power pedal. Uh, don't pay attention to that cord coming out of that connector. And there is our oil bucket. There's one thing you have to do is oil the, the rigid as it's being threaded. Then we get to this big boy right here. Oh, I've got a piece of pipe just right there to get out of my way earlier. But you have this big boy right here. And this is what's called a Collins threader. This will thread up to four inch. That's an automated threader. It, uh, when you turn on the button, it locks down and starts automatically spitting the pipe. Hit another button to unlock it. And when you're running it, it oils at the cutting head. It also has built-in reaming tool. It uh, this is machine was built back in the late 60s, so it doesn't lock like it's supposed to. We just you have to kind of kind of have to play with it to get it to pop in place. This right here moves your carriage to and from, and then this is the cutter. The vice cutter to, or the wheel cutter, I mean, to, uh, you know, get your pipe cut to whatever you need. But I will, uh, I will show you in a second how to use the hand threader. I'm not going to really thread with that because I don't feel like pulling the, the oil bucket and, uh, getting all nasty right now. But I'll show you all the basics of and threading here in a second before you start first thing you want to do is put gloves on your hands preferably leather but definitely some kind of a, a cut resistant glove edges are sharp metal burrs are even sharper uh, some of the stuff will come out like a razor and without proper protection you will slice your hand open now we've got a piece of pipe put into the vise here and I'm going to set up a scenario to pull a measurement. We're going to measure it and uh, not on hand threading but on the other machine I'll do the complete cut but I'll demonstrate some of the hand threading to uh, just to demonstrate on this piece of pipe how it would be done. So, this is the piece of pipe and we're ready to do everything. First thing we do is pick up the hand threader. Tighten this, make sure it's secure. Basically, you just keep doing this right here. And uh, you'll have a nice clean inside edge. After you do that, hand threader size properly of course and slide it on like that make sure you are going the correct way and you would start threading it up and it is a it is a bugger to get this thing to grab and to, to actually start working it. This stand, as much as you love them, you almost have to anchor them to, to be able to use one of these things properly, especially if you're going to do hand threading. And this thing would be basically set up the same way. You slide this on, and you just hit the button on this one it starts spinning the cutting head and all you have to worry about is getting on the back 
and uh, pushing it in to get the, the, the cutter started. Once it starts cutting it, it cut on its own basically. Same thing will go for that one, it's just a lot harder with that one. And show you the little razor blades right there. Those things are sharp as knives. So, to measure rigid and to cut it properly, if we we're going to just come out of the straight up into the bottom of the box and the measurement was going to be 41 and 3 quarters, then you wouldn't cut your rigid at 41 and 3 quarters. You would actually add, some people say 5 eighths, some people say 3 quarter. I go with 5 eighths and uh it's a it's a little bit a little bit snug every time and i like it that way so uh we'll uh we'll get set up on the column threader here in a second and i'll show you how how you cutting everything with this right here all right so i'm gonna get going on this column threader so going through the whole rigor moran of measuring everything and stuff i'm just going to demonstrate it being cut and how everything works first off you'd flip all your carriages out of the way so you can get everything nice and picked up and clean and then you hit your This oil's draining off. And uh, there are the threads cut right there. That's enough thread to run a lock ring down. Put your bottom lock on there, run your top lock down there, and then put your bushings on there, bond or fiber. But that is the basics of how you thread rigid. You pull your measurement, you measure first, pull your measurement to the outside where your bottom lock ring would be, and then you have to get up in the box like I said, five eighths to three quarter. My lock ring will probably stop about right here where the thread's starting thickening out. And then from here to here be my next lock ring and then the top will be filled with fiber bushing or bond bushing depending on your application. So hit like and subscribe and I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this.